Just recently, the ClickFunnels team released the long-awaited CRM features, and it means that from now on, you can manage the entire customer journey in ClickFunnels 2.0, and you can save on some subscriptions for other CRM services that you may be using right now. The fact that your site, funnels, courses, email sequences, and now CRM are in one place also gives you a lot of flexibility. Thanks to the powerful automations, you will be able to use different actions from the prospect's journey as triggers and automatically launch the next action that will help move the prospect through your sales pipeline. In this ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial, we will take a look at the opportunities, one of the CRM features, and the awesome possibilities it offers for customer management. I will also show you how to set up automations to automatically add prospects to a pipeline or move them between the stages. If you don't have your ClickFunnels 2.0 account yet, you can find a link to a free trial in the description of this video. And if you use our link, you will also get our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus. And if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description you will find a link to a package deal that will help you save almost 50% on your ClickFunnels 2.0 subscription. Now let's dive straight into it. First, you may not even see opportunities in your dashboard. To add this section to your dashboard, click this plus icon and then select Opportunities. Click Add App and it will already offer you to create a new opportunity. Opportunities in ClickFunnels 2.0 are same as prospects, so when you create a new opportunity, it actually means that you're creating a new prospect. Give your opportunity or prospect a name, then in the future you will be able to select the pipeline here. Right now we only have a default one. Then select the pipeline stage. Select a contact that will be related to this new prospect. Then select a team member who will be responsible for this opportunity. Set a value and assign a close date. With that, we have our first opportunity, or in other words, prospect, created. And you can see it on this board here. If you click on this step, you will be able to edit the information about this opportunity or remove it. If necessary, you can also add some notes. Now let's have a quick overview of the Opportunities dashboard. First of all, if you don't like the Kanban board look, you can adjust it here. You can select the table look. And then all your prospects will be listed in a table. In this drop-down, you will be able to switch between the pipelines. For now, we only have one created. That's why we only see a default pipeline here. And here you can switch between all opportunities and opportunities that are assigned only to you. Now, when we were creating an opportunity, we used a default pipeline because we didn't have any others created. What if you want to edit this pipeline? Let's say you want to adjust the stages or delete some of the stages. In the Kanban board view, you can easily do it by clicking on the icon here with three dots. You can adjust the stage name, change the close probability, or even delete the stage if you don't need it in the pipeline. Let's delete a few stages and also edit some of them. Let's say I don't need this stage. I open the settings by clicking on this icon and then click delete. Then I will rename this stage. and also rename the last stage. That's how you can adjust a pipeline to your needs. When a prospect moves in the pipeline, you can just drag and drop this tab here. And you may also notice that the value of the prospect changes based on the close probability of this stage. Now you can also edit the pipeline by clicking on the icon here and then selecting edit this pipeline. This way you will see all the stages in one place. And if you want to create a new pipeline, you also click this icon and then select create a new pipeline. 
Next, if you want to add a new prospect, a new opportunity, you can just click the button here or go to a specific stage and click the button Add Opportunity there. Before I show you how you can use automations in the Opportunity Dashboard and how to automatically add new prospects to your pipeline, like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. You can create different automations already from the Opportunities Dashboard here. Just click this icon, then click Add, select a trigger, it can be that the contact enters or exits this stage. Let's go with enters. And what happens when the contact enters this stage? Click effect to select an action that should be performed. You can see that there are different actions here, like sending a message via message hub, send asset, trigger workflow, remove or add tag, add no, notify, create opportunity and so on. Let's select send asset. Then you can select an asset that you have uploaded in ClickFunnels 2.0. And as you can see from the description here, the contact will be emailed a link to their customer center to download this file. Click Create step and also enable this automation. While you can create opportunities or move them between the stages manually, you can also automate this process. And that's the next thing that I want to show you. To do that, you would need to go to the marketing, workflows, create a workflow. If you have not done it yet, you can watch a detailed tutorial by clicking on the card here. And let's say you want to add a contact to a pipeline whenever they opt in on one of your opt-in pages. How to set it up with a workflow? We select a trigger. Event type will be opt-in. Then I select a funnel, select a page where they opt in, activate the trigger and save the changes. Next, we need to select an action and you can do it by clicking on the plus icon here. Scroll until you see the action create or move opportunity. Then you can select a pipeline, a pipeline stage a person who will be responsible for the opportunities. You can select the name of the opportunity by using merge tag, as you can see in the example here, and then set an opportunity value. If it's in new contact and you don't have it in a pipeline, it will be added to the stage that you selected. And as you can see here, if we have this contact already in our pipeline, it will be moved to the next stage. And if you disable that, a new opportunity will be created for each contact. And you can use this action multiple times. Let's say you want to send an email or do another action here in the workflow. And after that, you can again add this action to move an opportunity to a different stage in the pipeline. Now, that's all you need to know about the opportunities in ClickFunnels 2.0 and how you can use this CRM feature to manage your customers. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content.